Seahawks brace for physical battle versus Cardinals. The last time the Seattle Seahawks and Arizona Cardinals clashed, it was like a heavyweight championship bout between two brawlers that wouldn't cave, quit or get knocked to the canvas. In one of the NFL's fiercest defensive battles played all year, it ended without a winner, too, as the October slugfest ended in a 6-6 tie. Both teams have gone in opposite directions since then. The Seahawks, 9-4-1, have a chance to clinch a first-round bye in the playoffs while the Cardinals, 5-8-1, are just trying to limp their way to the end of a painful, disappointing season after reaching the NFC title game a year ago. It was a great game, Cardinals quarterback Carson Palmer said of Arizona's last meeting with Seattle. I know a lot of people thought it wasn't, but it was a battle, an NFC West battle. They played really well, we played really well and it came out as a draw obviously. They're not going to change a ton, I assume. They do what they do very well, and they don't change a ton for good reason. Seattle will clinch a first round by with a win plus a loss by the Detroit Lions or a loss or tie by the Atlanta Falcons. The Cardinals, meanwhile, aren't nearly as strong as they were two months ago, as injuries have left them decimated at several positions. Both starting tackles are out, they no longer have wide receiver Michael Floyd, they lost starting linebacker Dion Buchan into a season-ending ankle injury and safety Tyvon Branch to another groin injury. Safety Tyron Matthews still isn't close to 100%, either, and it's shown on the field after the Honey Badger returned from missing four games during a five-game stretch. Arizona still has one of the league's most feared weapons in running back David Johnson, however, who leads all non-kickers in scoring with 17 touchdowns and 104 total points. Johnson, named to his first Pro Bowl team on Tuesday, has an NFL leading 1,938 yards from scrimmage and is one touchdown shy of setting a single-season franchise record. It's what Johnson can do as a pass catcher out of the backfield or when the Cardinals line him up outside as a wide receiver where opposing teams start to really scratch their heads. He has just become an extraordinary player regardless of where you put him, Seahawks coach Pete Carroll said. They happen to have that in their package. He's an excellent route runner. He's a guy that runs routes like a receiver when he's out of the backfield, and he's just a classic triple threat. He can do everything. This is as difficult a guy as we play against. The matchups are a problem, and they know exactly what they're doing and how to use him. Until breaking out last week in a rout of the struggling Los Angeles Rams, Seattle quarterback Russell Wilson battled through a four-game stretch in which he passed for just three touchdowns and was intercepted eight times. The Seahawks went 2-2 before rebounding against Los Angeles, when Wilson threw three TDs and was picked off once. Palmer is coming off one of his best games of the season as he completed 70% of his passes, 28-40, of 40, for 318 yards with two touchdowns and no interceptions. Palmer, though, has already been sacked 13 more times, 38, than he was all of last season. Critics have pegged most of the Cardinals' failures this season squad on the shoulders of Palmer and according to coach Bruce Arians, his quarterback has taken too much blame for Arizona's struggles.